Alright, Shalom, this is the brother Atazawamia from GMS South Carolina camp and also GMS Charlotte camp. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Hashem El Shah, double honors to those of Great Millstone. Tell me his truth and Shalom to the Akim out there, pushing the truth and sincerity. Um, today's lesson is really geared towards um, basically giving some godly advice through the scriptures, what the Lord said. Uh, how we supposed to conduct ourselves, especially in these times that we about to approach, all right, about um, basically focusing on on your basic needs, okay, because this, this upcoming year, which we're in the year now, uh, 2013, um, it's going to be hard, okay, which the Bible spoke about, perilous times and stuff, which we're going to get into that, and that the Lord warned, you know, take heed that you don't get weighed down by um, this life, the bare necessities and stuff, all right? Because, I mean, if you know anything about Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the children of Israel, according to the Bible, they, they're they major consumers. And a lot of them doesn't, they don't know what, if you ask them questions like, what is your, what are your basic needs to live off? They couldn't tell you that. You know they'll struggle so this is just to you know inform jake all right when i say jake i'm talking about you negroes latinos and native americans and um basically uh help brothers you know learn how to either budget or just learn how to reduce and just deal with your basic needs that way you don't get bugged out or, or weighed down how these people are in this world because their their whole life consists of consumption okay consuming so let's get into the scriptures go to Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 7 it says nevertheless it's Lockyer. okay it says nevertheless Hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which prophesied for peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. So the, when you read the scriptures, okay, the prophets that's contained in the scriptures, which were all Israelites, okay, for the most part, that spoke the truth, all right, because the true prophets are the Israelites, okay, they, uh, they spoke of wars, evils, which means bad times, and pestilence, okay, which that's all we, we heading for, and that's against countries and, and, and great kingdoms, and America's a great kingdom, and that's what we about this country is about to plunge into its wars, uh, even increased evils, which is bad times, and pestilences, which is disease and plagues sent from the Heavenly Father. So we're just going to, you know, show that one, the Lord prophesied these things. We people early called Jesus Christ, whose name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. Okay. And the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Okay. That he spoke of these things so that you don't, you know, you don't get bugged out, okay? So the prophet spoke about these things. Hold on, let me get this real quick. This is Second Peter chapter 1. Second Peter chapter 1. Verse... Well, it says, Wherefore I will not be neglected to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, and be established in the present truth. Because, yeah, the brothers constantly do videos highlighting the, the different pestilence and plagues and things that's going to come on to society, but we're supposed to constantly keep pushing that out because, you know, you get people that flag the videos, you got YouTube changing everything up, so it's making it harder for brothers or, or uh, trying to make it harder 
for people to find out this information because they want to suppress it. But that's not going to happen because you can't you can't defeat the truth. Okay? So that's why we constantly go over it. even though you know this, it's always to keep keep it refreshed in your mind so that you won't forget it. Okay? Verse 13, 2 Peter 1, 13. Yeah, I thank it me as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you stir you up by putting you in remembering, knowing that shortly I must put off my tabernacle, even as our Lord Yahweh Shah have shown me. This is talking about Peter. He knew he was going to die. Okay, because the Lord told him that uh, in John chapter, well, the last chapter, he told him that when he was old, he would be taken to a place uh, taken all right to a place he didn't want to go and when you go into the history which is not in the containing scriptures but when you go into the history of what happened to Peter he ended up getting crucified upside down so he knew he was gonna die okay uh, verse 15 moreover I will endeavor that ye may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance for we have not followed cunning devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach but were eyewitness of his majesty okay and that's what a lot of people think they think that when we break down the scriptures we pull in making up our own doctrines or or we misinterpreting the scriptures or um, twisting things up no we, we've been telling you this for the longest so now it's starting to come to pass or it's right there and it's, it's speaking man so these people that have problems with us they starting to they starting to see that okay we're not crazy but you people are crazy man okay verse 17 for he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased and the voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mountain we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your heart so we have the prophecies okay which is it's located in the scriptures about these times okay so that that supposed to be like a light guiding you in this dark world man because a lot all these people that's not into this they're in darkness man they're in all types of darkness verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but by a holy man of God speck as they were moved by the Holy Spirit okay all right, so scriptures break down itself. All right, so let me go to go to Matthew's twenty-four and three. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? and the end of the world, which the word world right there is eon, which means age, which is a period of time. Okay, the end of this current current time of wickedness, man. When shall it end? Okay, because when the Lord come, he's going to put an end to all this badness out here. Okay. Verse 4, And Yahusha answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed. And shall deceive many. That's all these porch I've eaten pastors talking about prosperity. All right, it's your season for blessing. Anybody talking about oh, 2013 is going to be uh, the year of of overflowing blessings and all this madness in the name of Jesus Christ this and Christ that. They're, they're a bunch of false prophets, man. Okay, because nothing. Only thing that's coming to this society is woes and tribulation, man demons verse 6 it says and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars which we broke that down on the streets when you look up that word rumor it means preaching of wars so you're hearing about wars in the news okay with Iran they down they they expose ex 
was it X X Parade? They just flaunting all their weapons, man. They they doing submarine missile testing, land missile testing. Uh, damn. Uh, they got a new defense system from Russia. They going all out, man. And they 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 say, man, if if Israel, the United States, or those that help them want to come step up in in Iran and take it, man, they ready to defend it, man. Okay, and it's it's done. They they done got so amped up that the United States they uh, they signed a law trying to ban or control uh, South Americans, those Latin countries, from dealing with Iran because a lot of them uh, back Iran or have ties with Iran. Okay, mainly like Brazil, uh, Venezuela, all right, Cuba. Okay. Which they hate America, so you know that's beautiful. And then you got Russia testing out their new missile defense system. All right, they made a uh, weapons deal with India, which India does possess nuclear ICBM thermonuclear missile capability. Okay, and they have uh, openly backed Syria as well as Iran against Turkey, which Turkey is part of uh, NATO. Which America's part of NATO, all right? And America's using Al Qaeda, the same terrorist group that so-called destroyed the Twin Towers and all this madness, which that was all an inside job. But you should know that by now, okay? But now they're helping the United States fight against the Syrians, okay? So it's man, it's heating up over there in the Middle East, okay? So you're hearing about wars and then the rumors, like I said, the rumors, when you look that word up, it means the preaching of wars. And that's what we've been preaching, man, for years. That World War III is contained in the scriptures. World War III is going to be the end of all wars. And that you can see it now by them slowly, well, hell, they speed and process up. But they're going to uh, basically bankrupt America and the best way to make money is going to war. So war is inevitable. So they're going to go to war. And that's what we're preaching about. Rumors of wars. So see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Okay. So you see that now. That's a, It's a fulfillment of that. When you see the videos uploaded. Where the brothers on the street preaching about wars. Race wars. Rumors of wars. of uh, A third world war. All right, battles, conflicts, fights, and the news talk about it. That's being fulfilled now. So it says, verse 7, for nations shall rise against nations. Okay, which when you look that word up, nation is ethnos. Okay, which goes back to uh, your nationality or races. So it's going to be races fighting against races, which we always say that race wars. Okay, and kingdom against kingdom. That's third world war. And there should be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these shall all these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. That's right. That's right. So we approaching that time. Mark thirteen and eight. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. And when you look that word of trouble, it means disturbance, commotions, a tumult, sedition, an insurrection, strife, and uproar. And that's talking about these people protesting. All right. And that's going to increase the more they keep taxing you people. That's what most people don't think or understand about the Facet Cliff deal. They think the average peon. A simpleton would think, oh, they made a deal, so we're cool, we're good. It's over. No, it's not over. All they did was put a hold on the, the budget cuts, okay, for two months, all right? And it, and they increased taxes. So the, when you get your first paycheck of this year, you're going to find out that taxes increased on you, okay? All right? And it's going to be a lot of money, and you're going to be upset because why? You're going to be like, I put in... Yada 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 hours, and I'm getting paid less. Why? Because the government gonna tax you even more. When you just thought it was the the upper two percent 
getting taxed.